Did you know that films don't even use real sets for the shoots anymore? Movies like The Batman and Dune use huge LED walls with virtual sets developed in game engine software. This is called virtual production and today we'll be discussing what kind of hardware you need for such a use case. Now virtual production is a relatively new concept. There isn't a specific metric for its performance measurement since it's mainly revolving around generating scenes through game engine development softwares. Let's stick to Unreal Engine 5. The CPU is responsible for all the hard development tasks such as compiling shaders, code and blueprints as well as the light baking. These tasks scale well with multi-thread performance and with processors that offer higher core counts. The Threadripper platform offers a good balance of high core count and good single core performance. An added benefit is the higher RAM and GPU support on these platforms. Threadrippers can leave a hole in your pocket though. Affordable alternatives will include the AMD Ryzen series and the Intel Core series. It can get a bit confusing to configure a PC. If you're not up for the research, then look no further. The MVP delivers high-performance computers all over India with three years of doorstep warranty and lifetime tech support. We have configuration specialists ready to consult you based on a use case with three stores in Hyderabad, Gurgaon and Bangalore. Get in touch with us to get started. Now back to the video. The GPU is behind all the model textures and special effects you see on your screen. It determines how many frames per second you can preview while editing as well. The new update also allows your GPU to do some light baking on your scenes as well. Earlier, instead of LED walls, movie producers would rather use green screens for which the GeForce RTX series of graphic cards could kind of do the job. But now that LED walls are being used, higher end hardware will be needed to generate and display scenes on them. By higher end, we're referring to the Quadro series, rather the RTX 6000 series of cards. The best performing variants are on your screen right now. Your choice of GPU should prioritize VRAM and processing speed. Now RAM stores your running applications and caches for simulations and light mass. The amount of RAM needed will differ based on your use case. Unreal Engine can run on 16 GB of RAM as long as the project size is small, which is a minimum of 32 GB and 64 to 128 GB for larger project sizes. Now storage is often overlooked, but it is very important. Users will need to access thousands of individual files. A fast and equally large storage drive is important. The average file size may run into hundreds of GBs on these projects, which is at least a 500 GB NVMe SSD for storing your softwares and OS. A secondary 1 to 2 TB NVMe is suggested for storing your project file. The configuration will suffice for most artists and slower hard drive for backup and dump files may be needed. That pretty much sums up how you should be going about component selection for virtual production. As mentioned earlier, we ship custom computers nationwide with three years of doorstep warranty and a lifetime tech support. Get in touch through our contact details mentioned below. Thank you for watching our video.